the heck? There's friggin' acid in there. Shouldn't it, like... What if I just drop it? No! Ow! That was good. Crap, now it's stuck in there. Ow. Why do I keep doing that? So many painful things in this room. Makes me sad. Okay, let's go. I guess we'll leave here. Leave this horrible place. Oh. Crap. No. This is not what I wanted. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, acid. Maybe that'll work. It always works. Oh Jesus Christ. What is that? Get away, get away, get away. Ow, 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 ow. Wow, this guy. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, oh, ow! That's it. You have to carry. You told me that last time. God damn it. Okay, where is it gonna reload? Oh, back here, of course. Right. You're in there, aren't you? Open the door. Open the door. Okay, well, obviously, I'm supposed to come in here, grab what needs to be grabbed. Oh, I already grabbed everything. Grab, grabbed, grabbed. Whatever, same thing. Completely different. That doesn't make any sense, though. Okay, so now... I go down here. Very slowly and very quietly. And I don't alert whatever the hell is in there. And I go this way. This is this has to be the scariest game I've ever played. It's up there with Minecraft, I mean seriously. <laughs> Help me. Stop coughing. Think you're having a bad day? Just take a look at what I'm doing. God. I'm running away from whatever the hell these things are. Storage. Oh. I think I'll use this. But what? I can't? Ah, fine. It doesn't have anything in it, or whatever. We still have a map. Really, we still have a map. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Oh, it's not a cutscene this time. Ah, those things are so frightening. Oh. This will make the mood. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Whatever that is. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well-versed in worldly matters, and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. Oh, really? As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Skulking. 
Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Such an over voice actor, holy crap. Okay, well I'm now no longer scared, so... Whatever. He's very good at breaking the mood. Oh my god, oh. How did... Okay, I freaking saw someone creeping up on me. I heard awful voice acting. And somehow... I became more sane. I am very much not here. Shaking, oh my god. Wow, that hand actually doesn't look like it's shaking. Should it be like Ugh. Oh, it's still not shaking, just a little shaking. Oh well. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Next time we're gonna die. Probably. We're probably gonna die, like twice or something. Yeah, but anyway. Thank you for watching. But um Crap, I haven't done this in so long, I forget how to stop recording the friggin' video. Okay, press F10 right now. Okay, thank you for watching. Goodbye.